Welcome back friends. In the previous session uh, we discussed about the structure of the earth and uh, we finished the session 6 uh, discussing about the rock cycle and the geographical timeline. In today's session I will start by discussing the forces which affect the, the earth's surface. The forces which affect the earth's surface. So by discussing these forces, we'll have uh, two major categories of these forces. We'll have the internal and then we'll have the external forces which affect the Earth's surface. Uh, as usual, these notes, they are from somibola.com. You can go into the website and then you can get the notes for free. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates in our physical geography and other subjects like mathematics, biology, chemistry and uh, physics. Now, as we are going, that uh, here there is also the book for physical geography, so you need to go through the book or we'll pass through it later. But now we are using these notes. So, these are notes one for the forces. So despite uh, our tendency to consider that Earth is static because we no we live outside of the earth and because we don't fall down some of people they think that uh, the earth is static however actually the earth it is not static it undergo motion as we know that our uh, earth undergoes are two types of um, uh, circular motion it does to, it tend to circulate through its own orbit which you call it the earth is rotation and also it tend to surround the sun which you call it the earth is uh, revolution. So despite our tendency to consider the earth as static, why we consider as static so boom, we are outside of the earth and it doesn't fall. So it is actually a dynamic and ever changing planet. So it is a dynamic and this dynamic lead to different processes which are occurring in the on the earth's surface. So wind, water and ice erode and shape the land. We have uh, these forces which are um, have these forces which uh, tend to erode uh, the earth's surface. Uh, we have wind, we have water and ice. These are the forces which can cause the erosion. But these they cause the destruction or they cause the changes on the external surface of the earth, not the internal. Volcanic activities and earthquakes alter the landscape in in a dramatic and often violent manner. So, we have a volcano and volcano and earthquake. And we have to say that landscape is bad. We have to say somewhere we have to say that is because those are the different forces which can affect the earth. And on a much longer time scale, the movement of earth is planned slowly, reconfigures oceans and continents. So, your movement here, it is surface slow, in a way they can find different changes when you it is surface, and they can find different changes. So, we are saying that uh, forces, uh, forces can be defined uh, are processes that operate or work within or on the earth's crust. There are different forces that uh, affect the earth. So, we have different forces that tend to affect the earth. And for the case of our um, categorization, we have two major categories, the internal forces and the external forces. Two major categories, internal and external. The internal forces, these are forces which operate within the Earth's crust. So they operate within the Earth's crust. Internal forces include vulcanicity and Earth's movement. That is horizontal or lateral movement and vertical movement. So volcanicity and the Earth's movement, which are uh, horizontal and vertical, these are the examples of the internal forces. These forces may result in the formation of several landform features. And some of these are features that can be intrinsic, or some of them they are extrinsic. Some of them they, they, they end up in the Earth's crust, so they don't uh, be shown in the outside. And some of them is in on a canadi inje. So iso an internal forces. Like now, we have external forces. Uh, these are natural forces that operate on the Earth's surface. The forces mainly act on the Earth's crust or close the surface of the Earth. 
So external forces zinakuwa zinaonekana kabisa by naked eyes external forces zinakuwa zinaonekana. So often the features produced by these forces are seen on the surface of the earth. They include mountains, eh, volcanoes, moraines, valleys, just to mention a few. These are uh, mountains, volcanoes, moraines and valleys. They are features which are formed by the external forces. But the examples of the external forces as we mentioned before, uh, we have uh, like windy, we have water, we have ice. They tend to erode and they tend to form different features. As I will shall discuss later, uh, what the effect of wind or the wind features, water features, uh, marine features as how we shall discuss later. Now, this is just an, an introduction to forces which tend to uh, which tend to affect the Earth's surface. Now, let's move and let's start uh, discussing about the internal forces. Internal forces which tend to affect the Earth's movement. The internal forces which tend to affect the Earth's surface. Sorry. So, these are forces that operate within or inside the Earth's crust. Or these are forces which operate beneath or under the Earth's surface. Internal forces, they operate within the Earth's crust. Or they operate beneath the Earth's surface. So internal forces inakuwa kwa ndani ya dunia. Unakuwa wezi kuziona. Wezi kuziona. Actually, hata external forces ya wezi kuziona. Hawezi kawona upepo. E, water wanazo kayona. Ice wanazo kayona. Ya upepo wawezi kawona. So, uh, why did the external force lakini hawezi kayona? Lakini still, it is an external force. So, internal force is in act inside of the earth's surface. These forces are generally referred to as tectonic forces. Are generally referred to as tectonic forces. The internal forces or tectonic forces are divided into the following. First, we have the earth's movement, which are diastropism and volcanism or volcanicity or volcanic eruption so to make categorize the internal forces or tectonic forces into two major categories the earth is movement which are diastropism diastropism and uh, the volcanism volcanicity or sometimes you can call it as volcanic eruption now from there as you can see, these are different forces in this diagram here. I hope you can see that uh, here we have the force acting on an on the object. So, for example, um, this force is perpendicular to an object. This force can be categorized as a perpendicular force. And from there, you may have compression of forces, as you can see. This one and this one pushes this side of the material close together so for example as you can see object bends because one side is compressed and the other is stretched so if this side if the top side is is compressed and the lower side is stretched that means there is a tension this is compression and this is uh, this is the pulling tension stretch at the side so this object will tend to bend and as as uh, we shall discuss later we have different of these categories of forces which are, uh, act on the earth's surface kwa kwa mfano hapa hizi zinajibana ikiacti hapa na hizi ka zinapelekea mwisho siku object na penje ina bend so huu ni mfano tu ni mfano lakini hiyo sio ambayo inatokea moja kwa moja so this was just an introduction and in the next session we will start discussing about the earth's movement the earth is movement and we start discussing about the vertical and the lateral movement earth is movement they are categorized into two the vertical and the lateral movement so we discuss about this and then later we'll continue with the other things in our topic of physical geography thank you everybody and later wish you nice studies